In Axon Next, the map is an interactive site plan where you can place icons of cameras, sensors and relays, and manage their operation via the context menu. Each icon displays the status of its object. For the background site plan, you can use either a bitmap image or an OpenStreetMap view. Each camera is represented by its current horizontal field of view and coverage distance. To set transparency for the camera's coverage area, you can use the dedicated slider. To manage objects on the map, use the context menu. Right-clicking on a camera object pops up the list of actions available for its current status. Arm. Arm in private mode. Disarm. If you click on the camera icon, you will be directed to its view on the layout. For an output object, you can select the following actions. Output off. Or output on. The context menu is available only for actuator type devices. It is not provided for sensors. You can change the tilt of the map by adjusting the border between the map and the layout areas. You can use the interactive map in three modes. 2D mode, 3D mode, and immersion mode. In 3D mode, both the map and the layout are displayed. To switch to 2D mode, click on the double arrows button to the right of the map button. Only the map is displayed in this mode. To hide the map, press double arrows button on the left. Press the map button to return to 3D mode. In immersion mode, the video image is superimposed on the map. To switch to this mode, click on the camera icon or its coverage area, and then press on the symbol. Press switch mode button to return. To add a new map in Axon Next, switch to Layout Editing Mode. Select Add Map from the list, or click on Plus at the bottom of the layout. Specify the map name. In the Type tab, select OpenStreetMap. And users who have access to the map. Make sure you have obtained the OpenStreetMap license if you want to use this type of background for your map. After the map is in place, add the necessary objects to it. Cameras. Inputs. Outputs. To add a camera to the map, use the context menu or drag the camera icon from the camera panel to the required location on the map. To add an input or output object, use the context menu by right-clicking on the camera. Only previously activated input and output objects can be added to the map. If you have several maps, you can switch between them using tabs. To do this, use the context menu, or left-drag the required tab. These tabs can be used for navigation. Let's save our changes. That's how we configure the map.